So hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today I thought of reviewing a car. Um, as you know, India is filled with many medium-sized SUVs. So today I'm gonna be reviewing one of them, which is a XUV 300 diesel manual. So let's start reviewing it. So let's start with the engine first. Oh, it's actually kind of heavy. It's a 1.5 liter engine with 115 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque, which is a lot in this segment. And you have insulation right there. And when you open the engine bay, it has a lot of noise. But when you close it, it's totally silent because of the insulation. And just close it. Clean the part. Put it in. And just close it. Check the front of the car. It gets this cool long LED that flexes till here. And it's my most favorite part. And you have a halogen indicator. You have a projector light. And the fog lamps are halogen. And it gets two front parking sensors in here also. And you have a long chrome line here. And you have your big Mahindra logo right here. And even the chrome is right here. And you have a front skid plate. Let's go to the side of the car. Here you have body cladding that goes till the back of the car. And you get 17 inch alloy wheels, which are very big and adventurous for this size of a car. So let's go to the back of the car. So it is all a little boxy shaped car. And these lights look very cool on the car. And it's the W8 variant. And gets a nice silver skid plate. And as you can see from the front, the body cladding keeps continuing here. And it gets four reverse parking sensors. And a reverse parking camera. And you get a wiper right here. So let's get into the boot of the car. The boot is not for long journeys. You might have short journeys in this car. And this is too high and could have been a little lower. But you get a parcel shelf here. The boot space also could be a little more. You get a good spare wheel in here. And let's just close the boot and get into the car. So let's check how cool the driver's seat is and the dashboard is. So it has front request sensors. So let's get in. I don't know why there's a keyhole here. Let's get in. The door pockets in the front also are large enough, not for a one liter bottle, maybe a 500 ml bottle. And you get chrome door handles. And as the same, you have a glossy black finish here. And you have leather here. And like the front, it has the same speakers. So this has such a cool steering. You can do everything in the steering. Why do you want to go to the touch screen when you have everything here? It has your cruise control here, and you have your volume, if you want to attend the call, you have your... The steering is very nice, it has all the controls here, you don't even need your touch screen. And you have your digital display here, and then you have a speedometer here, and you have nice big seat controls here. And it has the same seats like the XUV 500. And the touch screen is very nice. And you have you, you can buttons for the navigation, home, radio, phone. And you have your AC controls. You have more buttons here. I don't know what they do. And this has very good plastic, hard plastic. 
and you have hard plastic even here you have your airbag here it has airbags even here and you have another airbag here it has seven airbags as i said to you so you have it everywhere and you have some storage space here for your phone and then you have a nice big glove box here and it's a very good car so let's get oh i forgot the sunroof i guess so let's take the sunroof it is a very big sunroof and i don't know why it's so hard and you have a nice big control for the sunroof here and it is a very big sunroof for this segment and let's start driving the car now thanks for watching please subscribe